Welcome back to Movie Recapped. Today I will show you a comedy movie from 2018, titled Blockers. Lisa drops her daughter Julie off in kindergarten for the first time, and Julie quickly makes friends with two other girls. Kayla and Sam are there, as are Kayla's father Mitchell and Sam's father Hunter. The three then chooses to be friends because their children are friends as well. Kayla and Sam growing up together up next, Julie, now a teenager, gets out of bed and goes for a jog with Lisa after returning from their morning run, Lisa prepares herself for school as she does so, she tells Lisa how nervous she is about their prom night, but Lisa tells her to calm down, Julie then asks if Lisa would be okay when she goes to college, and she says yes Sam and Julie have a school meeting. By the school locker, Julie and her boyfriend Austin exchange a kiss. Julie then goes over to her friend and tells them that she's planning on losing her virginity to Austin that night, upon hearing this, Kayla decides to do the same with her lab partner Connor, however, Sam says she's not ready to lose her virginity yet, but promises to do other wild things that night. Sam decides to go to the prom with Chad while the trio talks, however, Sam notices another student Angelica across the room and she then decides not to tell her mother because of how she will react to the news. Meanwhile, at Sam's house, her mother Brenda and stepfather Frank sit her down to talk about her friendship life after high school. Brenda says it's possible she won't be friends with Kayla and Julie once they graduate from high school because that's how life works back at Julie's house. Lisa examines Julie's prom gown, Julie then mentions her application to UCLA, which Lisa dismisses, she feels the University of Chicago is a better fit for Julie currently at Kayla's house, Mitchell's eyes well up with tears as he realizes his child is finally maturing into a lady. Soon after, Kayla and her parents arrive to Lisa's house, as do Sam, Frank, and Brenda. They've all come to have a little party to honor their children's prom night. When Julie leaves a room, she leaves a laptop on and it's linked to her mobile phone. Julie and Kayla start talking about how wild they want the night to be, and Sam agrees to give up her virginity to Chad. A few moments later, Sam's father arrives in a limousine, and Sam is surprised to see him and doesn't give him a warm welcome, while Lisa is surprised to see Hunter because she didn't invite him. Soon after, Frank and Brenda arrive to welcome Hunter, making the situation even more unpleasant for him. A few moments later, Lisa enters Julie's room and discovers her acceptance letter to Ukla. Sam and Julie, together with their partners, prepare to leave in the limousine. Lisa attempts to talk to Julie, but she leaves quickly and tells her mother that she loves her. As the limousine goes, the driver, Rudy, greets the adolescents and urges them to have a good day. Lisa and Mitchell are sitting down to discuss Julie's admission when they hear her laptop banging in her room. They investigate and discover Hunter emerging from the toilet. The trio notices their children using emojis to chat and quickly deciphers it. The parents realize what their children are up to and decide to stop them, except for Hunter, who says they don't have to interfere in their children's business on their way to school. Sam notices Angelica and approaches her. Angelica informs her that she has split up with her boyfriend. Angelica tells her that when she actually tries to be with a man, she will know what she wants. Meanwhile, Kayla assures Connor that she is ready to make out with him. A little time later, the parents arrive at the school and begin looking for their children. Meanwhile, the children decide it is time to leave the school and head to the lake home to have fun. Hunter notices Kayla and Julie leaving and decides not to inform Mitchell and Lisa. However, when he discovers Sam kissing Chad, he changes his mind and decides to help Lisa and Mitchell in their conspiracy because he doesn't want Sam to do anything she would regret. After some awkward moments, Ron reveals that the kids are at the lake house but refuses to give the address. Nevertheless, Mitchell says Marcy would know the lake house because she used to work there. The next scene shows the kids having fun in the limousine on their way to the lake house. The parents arrive to the lake home while their children are having fun inside, but they are refused admission by the owner, who informs them that the parents are not permitted. The trio tries to convince him that they are not the parents, but he demands proof. Mitchell is asked to participate in a beer chug contest, which he agrees. However, during the event, the cops come, and all of the students, including Julie and her friends, flee. The kids want to go to the hotel for an after-party, so their parents get in their car and start following the limousine. Unfortunately, Sam gets out of the limousine to throw up, and he throws up in Lisa's car, causing them to lose track of the kids. When the car crashes at the crash site, it becomes clear that each parent has their own motivation. Hunter feels horrible for ignoring Sam through his difficult divorce from Brenda, 
who cheated on him, and Lisa is hard to let go of her child and is angered by her intentions to travel to faraway Akla. Whilst their parents wait for a cab to come fetch them up Julie and her friends stop at a store to change their messed up clothes, and while there, she discovers that her mother has been trying to contact her. Julie calls her, and the two get into an argument over the phone. Soon after, the parents realize that the only way to know where their children are going is to check Ron's phone. To take Ron's phone, the gang heads to his residence. When the trio barges in on Ron and his wife, they discover them playing a blindfolded wild game. They secretly sneak in to steal Ron's phone, but Hunter and Mitchell get caught up in the game, giving Lisa enough time to steal the phone. Once they have the phone, they notice the kids are heading to a hotel and quickly follow them. The kids arrive at the hotel intending to have a good time, but Austin informs Kayla that Julie's attitude is low due to her disagreement with Lisa. The parents arrive at the hotel and begin looking for their children. Kayla instructs Austin to give her the room and key, and she orders him to bring her to the room in the next 15 minutes. Lisa notices Kayla leaving a room and slips inside without her knowledge. Once inside, she realizes that Kayla has set up the room in such a manner that Julie will be able to enter it. Lisa walks through the room and realizes she's doing something wrong as she's about to leave, she hears Julie and Austin enter and she quickly hides under the bed. Julie enters the room and her mood immediately brightens up, she and Austin start making out right away, and unbeknownst to them, Lisa is hiding under the bed. Mitchell is breaking into rooms while looking for Kayla, while Chad and Sam are having fun the next scene shows Kayla and Connor having fun in their hotel room, Kayla soon realizes that it is not yet time for her to lose her virginity, but she lets Connor give her head up, next, Hunter spots Chad across the building and chases him down, in the meantime, Mitchell finds Kayla and Connor, he throws Connor across the room, but Kayla tells him that nothing happened between them, Connor leaves the room, and the two begin in Julie's room, Lisa realizes that Austin and Julie love each other and secretly sneaks out of the room without the duo noticing her. Soon after, Hunter finds Sam and she informs him that nothing happened between her and Chad while the duo talks, Sam opens up to Hunter that she is a letso. Hunter advises her to notify her pals since that is what friends do. Hunter Lisa and Mitchell meet up in the hotel bar shortly after. The trio reminisces about the events of the night, and they are pleased that they have turned out to be proud parents. A short time later, Julie and her friends arrive, and the trio shares their night's experiences. Sam then reveals to her friend that she is a letso, and they support her for who she is. Angelica approaches Sam and the two have a kiss. Three months later, Sam and Kayla accompany Julie to Akla, and as they leave, Lisa begins receiving texts from the girls on their group chat. The parents notice that the texts are filled with the girls' plans to make out without using protection and dealing with hard substances, and as the trio rushes to their car to follow their children, they receive a text informing them that it was a prank, and they send a final text of I love you to them. Thanks for watching, guys.